Hello, I'm Hussein here from the Boss TV. Welcome. In today's video, we are going to compare Kenyan SGR versus Tanzanian SGR. Kenya and Tanzania are in race for economic progress. Both of these countries try for their level best to make sure they achieve something. And those achievements will bring economic development and changes to their people. For Tanzanian and Kenyan case, this case is very unique. Each country are trying to beat the other. So, today we will compare Kenyan SGR to the Tanzanian SGR. Which one you think is better? Leave your opinion in the comment section. Like this video and watch it until the end. Let's go. We will start our comparison by looking at the types of locomotives Kenya and Tanzania use. Kenya use diesel locomotives. These are the type of railway locomotives in which the prime mover is a diesel engine. Kenyan diesel locomotives could go up to 120 miles per hour. Tanzania use electric locomotives. An electric locomotive is a locomotive powered by electricity from the overhead lines, a third rail or onboard energy storage such as a battery or supercapacitor. Electric locomotives are quiet compared to diesel locomotives since there is no engine, exhaust noise and very less mechanical noise. These Tanzanian electric locomotives could reach up to the speed of 160 miles per hour. Another point to consider when comparing Kenya and Tanzania SGR is the money used, which is a lot. The project cost of the first phase of SGR from Mombasa to Nairobi was 90% financed by Export Import Bank of China, Exim Bank. The remainder of the project cost was funded by Kenyan government. The $3.23 billion financing from Exim Bank was finalized in May 2014. For Tanzania, total cost is $7.5 billion. The project got a partial loan from Standard Chartered Bank for $1.46 billion to finance the construction of the first and the second phase of the project. The remaining part of $7.5 billion project to be financed by the government of Tanzania. The project is now under construction though. Now let's look at the total length of Kenya and Tanzania SGR railways. Kenya SGR first phase measuring 609 kilometers equal to 378 miles. It is known as Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway and connect the port city of Mombasa and Nairobi, the capital and the largest city of Kenya. The second phase which is 120 km from Nairobi to Naivasha had some funding problems and it is yet to complete. Total length of the whole project is 729 km. Now let's jump to Tanzanian SGR. The first phase is from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. The section measuring 300 kilometers, equal to 186 miles. The second phase is from Morogoro to Makutupora. The line stretches from Morogoro to capital Dodoma and onward to Makutupora in Manyoni district, Singida region. It measures 426 kilometers, equal to 265 miles. When completed, the whole project will be 1,800 kilometers long. So, there you have it. Tanzanian SGR versus Kenya SGR. Do you think these projects will have the value of money and benefit these countries? If not, leave your opinion in the comment section and like this video. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. As always, ciao.